Hi, my name is Helen Clare. I'm a poet and I'm here at the museum in the entomology department because I have for a long time been fascinated by insects, um, by the way we think of them and the way their stories overlap with our stories. And in fact, I've written quite a lot of poems about insects already um, with the help of Dimitri, who's the entomology curator here. I'm going to write a poem today based not just on the insects but some of the other um, exhibits in the museum and around the theme of migration. Um, I'm going to use a methodology that was shown to me by a lady called Claire Collinson who's been working at Kettle's Yard Art Gallery and it's going to involve picking a word and from them walking around the galleries and making a list of words that we can later fashion into a poem. <laughs> okay, so if you'd like to come with me, we're going to go off for a walk around the galleries. I've stopped at these sword guards because they made me think of belonging in a very personal way and they're just, they're just so unique and so different that you can tell how much somebody's sense of identity is, is wrapped up with them.
Stopped Here by the Frogs because it brings in the idea of sanctuary and I think that's also really important when we're talking about migration. Even when it was in use, the point of money is it only belongs to you for a short period of time until you use it to find something and then it belongs to somebody else. But of course this was buried and whoever buried it never got it back and now it belongs to us. enjoyed that. It's really nice to go around the museum and think about things in a different way and I think we've got some really interesting um, ideas here so Dimitri and I are just going to have a bit of a chat through them. Yeah, could you share your ideas with me? Yeah, well I think there's quite a few things that are interesting. We've got a lot of ideas about story obviously because I'm a writer the idea of you know language, naming and stories is very interesting. We've got ideas about family um, about about death, about extinction, about preservation. Um, a lot of these things are things that, that have come on on long journeys, like the cotton and the tea and the spear and the moth. And I think I, I now have to go off and try and make some sense of all this lot. So what I've done is I've taken all those post-it notes and all the thoughts that came out of our various discussions and I've taken about an hour and I've just sat down and tried to pull as many of those ideas together as, as possible in a poem. Belonging. We all came from somewhere and now we are not there. We have journeyed across the miles, through the centuries, and over the strange lands of our own lives. We travelled with nothing more than our name, our face, the death mask, the label. We gathered our few things round us and fastened them to us with buckles we crafted of iron or gold. We pinned ourselves to the world around us by our naming of it. We carried our few coins, and it seemed as if we owned them until they left our hands for the hands of others. We remembered ourselves in stories, in the wolves and forests of our origins. We found ourselves in others. We shared our names with them and our faces. We were gathered and we were dispersed, collected and cast out, like tea and cotton we belonged not to the land, to the trader, or the user, but to ourselves. Like the dodo, the tree frog, the moth. We belonged to a place, and the place changed. We made ourselves in things, in the guard for our swords, in paper, in coin. We watered crops and collected butterflies. We heard ourselves in birdsong and caged birds to hold them to us. We became the coin, the buckle, the dagger. We longed for sanctuary. Sometimes we built it for small pulsing amphibia in tanks. We are trying somehow to hold the world together with small buckles and bandages as we bind our dispersing bodies with cloth. We buried our coins and our dead to keep them close. We are always leaving, like exhibits in packing crates, where cases lie empty, waiting for work to be done, until it seems that where was never the thing at all. <laughs>